Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading. I'm going to use my Gilded Reverie Lenormand, and I'm also going to use my Tarot Wonderland cards. If you're interested in any of these cards, the links will be down below. Also, if you're interested in any of these beautiful Rose Forever Roses, the links are down below. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Okay, something that you have to take a closer look at, right? Magnifying glass, taking a closer look at. We have the fish, which represents abundance, and then we have a message, and then we have the tree roots. Could be some, some communication coming in for you, or you are reaching out to communicate with someone about something. An opportunity, maybe. An opportunity. Maybe you start looking into going back to school um, or starting a new business or something. Could be. All right, so let's get our Tarot in Wonderland cards. Look at this magnifying glass. What do we have going on with this magnifying glass? Okay, these just kind of fell out. We have Temperance, which is Sagittarius, and then we have Nine of Cups. All right, take a closer look. Love that right that nine of cups what else do we have for the magnifying glass we have queen of pentacles getting to work i feel like it's a business i feel like it's a business starting on something i feel like it's exploring something exploring a new opportunity um money i, I feel like business because with all of those Items that are behind her, for some reason, I feel like it has to do with a business, some sort of product or something, some sort of opportunity. Okay, so what do you need to look at? We have the fish, which this represents abundance, right? Abundance of when you branch out on your own and you do your own business, like it's fulfilling in many different ways. It gives you that abundance of being so proud of yourself for making that effort to make it happen and working on it and it's the rewards of the business itself so we have the three of pentacles get to work get to work get to work right if you have that idea don't let any more time go by don't waste any more time um i just feel like What do you gain by wasting time? What do you gain by not pursuing this or going after it? What do you gain? Right? What do you lose by not going after it? Um, definitely, I, I wish I had started earlier. But you know, it is what it is at that time. Sometimes you're just plainly not ready. But I feel like... This reading is for that person that has that idea, who who has, I feel like you already have so much going for you, and it's something that you've been thinking about for a while, and I feel like this isn't like the first time you're thinking about this. We have King of Pentacles, make it happen. He's the boss, right? Be the boss. Be in charge. Um, get in that energy of the king of pentacles where you are the ceo where you are in you are the president you are in control you are taking charge of the situation working on that right the three of pentacles work on it we have page of swords make it happen um don't talk yourself out of it I almost feel like for some reason I was thinking about like journal your, write down your, um, your journey. I almost feel like it's kind of like seeing how it all started and I don't know, don't miss out on it. For some reason I was just feel, <laughs> feeling like, you know, don't. Like to record all of it, like write notes down and, and journal your your journey. I feel like you'll be really happy about it. Or maybe that's part of the business, right? If you're starting your own YouTube channel and you're, there's something that you want to achieve or you want to do. And so then you start recording it and you start 
journaling it and then that's something else that you can do on top of what this thing is that you're doing we have the um, eight of wands we have the four of cups and we have the justice make things happen for yourself with the justice card um, determination I feel like this kind of represents like don't be sad about things that don't work or go your way I feel like it's kind of stepping away so that you can focus we have the dolphin there that has this opportunity behind this little guy here but there's opportunities all around you and don't think that because maybe you sometimes we think okay well this is I'm going down this path and so this is where the opportunity is Sometimes it's like you don't realize what's around you. So I feel like that's sort of that energy for that future energy is that you don't realize what's truly all around you. And if something doesn't work, don't get caught up in that energy and that there it may open the door to a different opportunity. Just like I was saying, if you record what's happening, maybe you try to start that business, but then you end up, you get have a YouTube channel and you're posting your videos up there and you're like, oh, well, I think this is what I really want to do, not that. That's why I was saying is, is, is like multiple opportunities here. And don't be upset if this doesn't work out because there's an opportunity right behind you. It's all about perspective and it's about keep pushing forward because you're always going to have those challenges and not giving up. Don't give up too soon because I feel like you're going to miss out. All right, so let's get a wisdom oracle. Chop wood, get to work, get to work. Just like the three of pentacles, get to work. Nothing's going to happen if you don't do anything. You have to work at it. Chop wood, right? Chop wood is not fun, right? Chopping wood. Definitely, I know that as a child my father had a log splitter and so we would go into the woods for like the whole weekend and so we had to haul wood and logs and that's how he made money is that he would do cords of wood and so that's how we, he would make extra money so yeah I know it's not fun to chop wood but basically that means do the hard work right Doing the hard work is what matters. Nothing's really simple. Nothing's easy, right? There's always challenges. For some people, they're fortunate enough where things will line up or fall into place or that's a skill that they have that feels easy for them. But for some people, it's more of a challenge because you're learning from ground zero. So you have to put in the hard work. Hard work is a good thing. All right, so let's... Do an energy oracle. We have door to spirit. And then we have the dove. So I feel like it's that staying focused. We have man holding a heart. I feel like following those things that you love to do. And then we have door to value with all the dollars. Doing what you love and making money for it. How amazing is that? So if you have that idea of doing something that you love and you're able to support yourself and make money, side hustle, or that's your way of making money, totally worth it, right? I feel like nowadays the opportunities for that to happen is so much easier because of social media and so many different ways that you can do things to make money and to be your own boss and to do things that you love and to share that with other people and make money from it, right? I mean, especially on YouTube, like so many people share so many different things that they're doing and they're able to make some money from it. And I think that's so cool. All right, we have transcendence, achieving success. Believing in yourself that you can achieve success Putting yourself in that energy is that I will achieve success. And that's what you have to do no matter what challenges come your way. Just like I was saying here with this little guy here. Maybe this one didn't work, but there's this one over here that I feel is an even bigger and better opportunity for you because sometimes you just don't realize until you try and then you realize what it is that you like to do and what you like to focus on. All right, let's get a spirit animal card. 
kind of going all over. Let's just take this one. We have Brown Bear Spirit, take time out. If you need to take that time out, right, just like this little guy here and rethink things and refocus and say, okay, I'm focusing on the negative. I need to turn that around and I need to achieve success and I need to focus on the positive. I need to redirect where I'm going. I need to redirect what I'm doing. I need to redirect what my focus is, right? And find that door to value. Value, what does value represent to you? Something that's valuable, right? Is it money? Is it financial freedom? Is it doing something that you love? Is it helping others? What is that? What gives it value? All right, thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.